This oral therapy was just administered to the first human participant with type 1 diabetes, hoping for a cure. It worked in mice. Will it work in humans? Here's what you need to know. This research comes from a company called Tiximed. Tiximed is a biotechnology company 100% focused on curing type 1 diabetes with their oral medication called Tix100. That's T-I-X-100. Tiximed's drug is all about Tixnip. Tixnip is the very short name for a long fancy name describing a protein that plays a major role in attacking and destroying the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. It's like thyridoxine interacting protein, something like that. Tixnip. Tixnip is the bad guy. So researchers know that people with type 1 diabetes have high levels of this protein in our blood. And again, this protein plays a major role in the destruction of the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. So we want to stop that protein from elevating, from, you know, becoming too present in your bloodstream. That's what TIX100 aims to do. It's a TIX nip inhibitor which means it's controlling and restraining the production of this protein. It's preventing that protein from taking over and launching this attack on your pancreas, on the cells that produce insulin. So TIX100 aims to do two things. First, it's gonna tell your immune system, hey, stop attacking and destroying the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. This means TIX100 is an immune modulator not an immunosuppression drug. An immunosuppression drug suppresses your entire immune system. An immune modulator is just targeting one part of your immune system that isn't behaving properly. That's a big deal. Now today there are actually several clinical trials going on that aim to do exactly that. They aim to change the way your immune system is behaving so that it stops targeting the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. But here's the second thing that TIX100 aims to do. And I don't really know of any other therapy in clinical trials right now that can do this. Beta cell regeneration. TIX100 hopes to actually restore your body's ability to produce insulin naturally. Beta cells are the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. But in someone like me, who's had type one for 25 years, those cells have been destroyed. I need healthy beta cells again. Other therapies would rely on the implantation of healthy beta cells, and then they would need a therapy to protect those cells from my immune system. TIX100 wants to tell your immune system to calm down, stop targeting the beta cells in the first place, and then my own body, my own pancreas, would hopefully start producing insulin again because TIX100 could restore and regenerate beta cells. If you think of regenerate, it's kind of like with the Wolverine healing after he gets shot in the chest. He just heals up and he's good as new. The fact that this is an oral therapy is also pretty cool. No infusions, no surgeries, no injections, no sitting around in a blood lab with an IV dripping into your arm for hours. All right, so where are they at? Well, they've already tested this out on mice. And hey, it cured the mice of type 1 diabetes. Mice have been cured of type 1 diabetes like a million times. So that's not really too exciting. We need to see how this works in humans. In January of 2025, Tixi Med dosed the first human participant with Tix100. In March of 2025, they shared just early results that that dosage was tolerated well by the participant, which means they didn't have severe side effects, they didn't get sick, they didn't have to shut down the clinical trial after that first dose. So that's good. So far, it's going well. So this drug is precision immune modulation and regenerative therapy. It's modulating how your immune system works, it's changing and fixing how your immune system works, and it's regenerating, it's regrowing the cells that your immune system damaged and destroyed. Now they are just in phase one of their clinical trial. 
Phase one just tests if it's safe, if it's safe for humans to take it. Phase two then looks at the efficacy. Is it working? Is it helping a person actually produce insulin? Phase three of a clinical trial is when they test, okay, is this better than how people live with type one diabetes today? So we just need Tixie Med to get through phase one with flying colors so that they can move to phase two and we can actually see the impact it's having on a person's blood sugar management. It's really exciting. It's very early in this clinical trial, but I'm looking forward to seeing the results they share with us next. Hey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, tell your friends. I appreciate the support.